today I've travelled all the way to Manningtree in Essex. I'm at Ritchie Engineering Solutions. I'm with one of the co-owners, uh, Duncan Ritchie, and we've got some fabulous parts around this machine shop that uh, we're going to look briefly at in this video and talk about how he's gone about making them and how the combination of both uh, his Matsura MX520 and OpenMind's Hypermill software have really been um, what he's needed to, to use in order to get um, these parts completed effectively and efficiently. Duncan, um, before we look at these parts, because they are, they are tremendous and it's what our audience like to see, give us a few words on the company, Duncan. Uh, Duncan. So we're a, a family run business, uh, me and my brother, and uh, fundamentally we're very proud of what we do and we're enthusiastic and passionate engineers and this is what we like to do. This is fun for us. Uh, at the same time as being a job. Um, so you get up in the morning, you come to work, and you can't wait to oh, get here. Oh, every day, to make straight out of that like bed. This. Yeah, absolutely, can't wait, and, can't and wait. Let's talk about the combination of these two, Hypermill and the yep. MX520, yep. a really good solution for you. you. You bought the machine first, and then you needed something to accompany it in order to get the parts off effectively. It, indeed, indeed, absolutely. You need to have the combination. You've got to have the right tool, you need to have the right software to drive that tool as well. And through the Matsura and the Hypermill combination, we feel we've got a very effective package, very competitive. Now, I want to pick up during this piece about uh, a few aspects of Hypermill software, which I think our audience need to know about if they don't already. The first one is about the roughing. A lot of what you do and any engineer does is about stock removal, isn't it? Indeed. How, how does the Hypermill software help you achieve that? Okay, there's various ways of doing it. There's very various roughing strategies that you can go about it. They're always improving those strategies, and as part of their continual update, they, they, they initiate twice yearly. Um, I would say the most significant thing is their high performance, their max machining strategy, um, which is a, is a, a tricoidal approach to, to machining. Now, it, what we've got in the machine there is actually um, an in-processed one of these that's to my left, which we'll then look at with the, with the camera. Now, this is a bit further down the line, but you've, of course, used the max machining strategy for roughing on this. Indeed. But not only on the larger parts, on some of these smaller components that you've, you've got here too. So it doesn't matter how big or small the part is, does it, to get the benefit? Indeed. In fact, some of the benefit is even stronger on the smaller parts. Uh, we're worried about tools um, surviving the job, um, snapping breaking, etc. So that, um, that, that the high performance, the max machining process lets us control the tool loading to a very precise level. But when you start thinking about ripping material off parts, does that not mean that your tools are going to last less or does the software... Not at all, not at all. That? No, no, the software lets us uh, give it the right, the right amount of loading at the right time. One of the biggest failures of a tool, if it's an insert tool, would be maybe a, a snap screw or snap tool, a, a snapped insert. Um, and that is usually down to a, an anomaly, a, 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 a high loading, a peak loading. So the, 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 the max machining strategy controls that in a much better fashion. Yeah, okay. Now what about things like the surface finish as well here? I mean, we look at a part like this, and there's a lot of times people uh, machine parts and then they have to take them off for polishing operations and things like that. But again, the Hypermill software will, will do that as well, won't it? Indeed. So none of these parts have been finished once they come off the machine. So they are off the machine, finished as they are now. So there is a, the high performance um, function for the, the, the machine. It's a high precision um, machining mode that they use for their 3D scanning strategy. Uh, and this breaks down the tool path into lots of many pieces and, and in conjunction with the, the nano smoothing uh, approach that, that, that Matsura have built into their controls, you get a superb finish every time. Um, what about, uh, Duncan, simple parts compared to complex ones? Now, you yeah. admitted to me earlier, and, and, and then lots do, you buy a uh, hypermill because you are, want to get into five axis machining, you need to compete and all the things we, we discuss. But what about if you then want to just do a simple part? Are you now using the software across the board? And Indeed, it fit for you're absolutely right. So yeah, of course, it's, it's nice to look at a complex part, a large part, lots of stock to come out of it, that's great. But it it's actually comes into its own everywhere. We use it for all the parts, whether it be a simple part or a complex part, we're, we're doing the same. So process. even something like this, that's just got some pocketing uh, on, drilled holes, it, uh, Indeed. You know, it's, it, it's quite a, a simple part, two operations, front and back potentially. Correct. You would still see benefits to using Hypermill software Every to create time. this, uh, as well as maybe what you see behind you here, or the finished one that is, uh, that is here on, on it, this. It, it's a scaling thing. It's a scaling thing. You're saving 10%, you're saving 10%, 20%, 50%. You're saving time. And that is corresponding in your, in your part price to the customer. You pass this on to the customer. You are more competitive in the marketplace. What about tooling? Uh, tool libraries, databases, and things like that. You, so you've got two Matsus here. You've got a, a new MAM machine, which can 
take hundreds of tools and, you, and you've got the MX here. How, how do you cope with all of that within the software? So that's within, the, 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 there's, there's a virtual library for these tools. Um, and I do know uh, for a fact that they are working even more so on that section at the moment to make it even better than it is already. You have to have that tool library. You've got to start there. It's one of the first things you do is look at what tools you've got in front of you. And of course, Hypermill has that. It's at your, at your fingertips and you can just crack on with the job. Collisions, how do you avoid those? Well, so far, We've avoided all collisions, so and that is entirely down to the collision avoidance um, strategies employed by Hypermill, for sure. Um, would you be, uh, you would be in business, so it would be wrong of me to say, but would you be doing as well in business without the combination of these two products? And is there any examples of things you can think of where you go, do you know what, if I hadn't had this pairing here, if I hadn't have had Hypermill to help me power through this, we wouldn't be where we are today. Without a doubt, that's an easy statement to say. So we thrive and we, we need to have the Hypermill. Hypermill offers plenty of support. That is vital. When you're trying to get a job done, slightly different, slightly more complicated, perhaps you've never done this before, pick up the phone, there's always someone there to help you out. Very, very important. The strategies are strong, the customer support is strong. Um, for your customers, do they look at you now and go, this company's going places, you've got two units here now. Um, this one, a brand new MAM. Uh, five axis 32 pallet machine. You've got quite a future in front of you here um, in Essex, haven't you? Yeah, so uh, for sure. I mean, we've been winning customers based upon the, 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 the machinery and the software that we, we operate. Um, uh, it, it certainly stands out as being a, a serious contender and uh, it wins you work. Um, Hypermill, people might say, can't afford it. Can they not, not afford it? Okay, so yeah, it's a slightly corny phrase. We, we can't afford not to have Hypermill and we can't afford not to have the best that we can around us. So the same goes for the Matsura machine tools. The client deserves to have the best and we need to have the best to offer them.